Hello, welcome or welcome back. It's just me, Jess Bo again, the wicked stepmom herself, um, making everyone's lives a little difficult so that I can make it a lot easier. <laughs> that's what, that's how I am trying to put it anyway. That's how I think of it in my head. So let's get into the transactions of the last week. Actually posting this on time, y'all. I'm proud of me. <laughs> uh, but it, it, it is just me this time. So let's get right into it. Uh, so on the 26th of January, yes, I know it's February's calendar, but the week, my week ends on Thursdays uh, because my partner gets paid when gets paid on Fridays. So we go Friday to Thursday and Thursday was in February. So I'm calling this February. Okay. So on the 26th of January, um, half of my pay, I split my paychecks in half so that I can align with his paydays because I get paid a week off of him and on a Thursday. So it, it sounds a little complicated, but it makes sense to me. So that's what we're going to go with. Budgets can work however you want them to work as long as the math is correct, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned anyway. So uh, my half paycheck was $778. His whole paycheck was $808. It's not what we like, y'all. This ain't great. This ain't great. Um, it, he's had bronchitis. It's been pretty bad, so he missed some work. Um, and he's not 100% sure like how everything lines up with winter break last month. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what if that's part of winter break or or what, but he did miss some days due to having bronchitis. So uh, it's kind of hard to teach when you can't talk and you're coughing all the time. So it was bad. Uh, but in any case, so he had a sh real short check. We're not happy about it. Uh, I took 14,000. Yes, that's 14,000, not 1,400. 14,000 out of my emergency fund. <laughs> ah! um, okay. But you know, this this is this is what's happening. It's real wild. Um I uh I contributed to my revolving sinking funds here. Uh that was 120 to health, 60 to shopping, 20 to birthdays, 40 to clothes, 40 to shoes, 40 to pets, then uh $60 to transportation and $20 to personal. Um this is not actually what I spent. This is what I allocated. I don't track my receipts for these things because it would fill this calendar way too much. I have a lot of like random purchases and I save up for things and it would just, it would make things real complicated. I essentially, these are essentially like savings, but it's not at like set intervals or anything. It's just random. So we're just going to call that money spent and we're going to call it good. Um, and then on the 30th, this is where things start to get interesting. Um, I paid off Wynn's Chase credit card. That was $5,366. And then I paid off Navy Federal, his Navy Federal credit card. That was 4367 Now, because of the timing of this payment, he was actually still charged a little bit of interest so I actually paid that um, on the second, but since that is after the first, we're not counting that. Um, and the transaction hasn't cleared yet anyway. So um, yeah, he doesn't have credit card debt anymore, y'all. I know it's crazy, it's crazy, but that means I don't have an emergency fund anymore. <clears throat> I've got like $1,000, it's, it's, not, it's not great. So, uh, and then on the 31st, I paid off his legal bill, $2,500. They settled. He's very good at talking to people. He's very good, very charming. Um, so yeah, we got $1,400 off in exchange for paying it off in full now. So that's what we did. It was painful. I didn't like it. <laughs> but if we're going to actually save money, it's got to be done because that saved us $1,400. That's a big deal. Um, yeah. 
So, like, he had originally came up with, like, a little payment plan of $50 a month. It would have taken forever to pay this off. And we would have paid the full amount. I'd rather save the $1,400. Thank you very much. Okay. And then groceries. All of the grocery money was spent. So, that was $110. And then on the first, on the first, it's where the bills came out. Well, not all of them. But uh, rent for $1,225 and kid bills, which is the kid's... This is the kids' um, health insurance, uh, or at least Wynn's portion of the kids' health insurance, as $103. Um, YouTube has not cleared yet. It's still pending, and I don't count pending transactions. I only count them once they're clear. So uh, YouTube has not cleared yet, and B&D Collections has not cleared yet. Um, so that is it. That is all four transactions. And let's look at what that means for the budget. And now that I flipped the page, I realized I did not do the math. I did not add everything up. So we're going to do that live. We're going to do that on the air. <laughs> on the air. Um, we're going to do it right now. Okay. So this is zero base budget worksheet. This is from Vertex 42. Um, I know I, I don't see it all the time, but this is a free spreadsheet that you can get on Vertex 42's website. Um, I did edit it a bit to suit me better. Um, change it however you want, obviously, uh, but it is completely free if you just go on Vertex 42's website. I try to put the links of everything I use in the description, so uh, feel free to peruse. Uh, okay, so for this budget, we got his paycheck of 808. And we're going to do this math here. Uh, my check of 778. And I still have half a check coming. So uh, we got that. And then from savings, 14000 plus 331 Oop. equals 15917 And of course, this is less than budgeted for because I still have half a paycheck. Because this is half of my last paycheck. Uh, and I just got paid on the first. Second? Yeah, first. And then I, I set everything back, you know, so that I align with his checks. So, of course, nothing went to investments. So we're still at the same 15917 And then for his spending, we just had these two things come out. So we have 1225 plus 103 so that's the rent and the kid bills so that is 1328 and of course already more than what his paycheck was we don't like that y'all <laughs> we don't like that um and then 15 9 1 7 minus 13 28 is 14 589 left And then, of course, he didn't save anything because he is, like, negative at this point. So we still have the 14589 And then this is what I contributed to um, sinking funds here. So let's add this up. 110 plus 120 for health plus 60 plus 20 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 60 plus 20. So that's 510. And this 110 is actually spent, but these are all just allocations. And I might spend it this month. I might not. I might spend more than that this month. Um, but, you know, this is what I'm allocating so far. And we shall see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, I won't go over budget this paycheck for any of these. But that's 510, and we take that from 14589 minus 510 is 14079. And yeah, uh, I haven't paid his debt yet, or, and I actually, y'all, I didn't have any snacky snacks this week. At least none that cleared my transactions. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I was actually good. I didn't go to the vending machine at all. I'm proud of myself. Let's be proud of me. Okay, we'll see. Actually, let, let's just, <laughs> let's not, let's not play around. I'm actually going to spend more than that today because I'm going out with one of my friends and we're going out to um, a Korean restaurant and I'm definitely going to spend more than $30. So, <sighs> you know, such is life. Okay, so that's fourteen oh seven nine, And then I have not saved any of this money yet. I am going to save this money on Tuesday. That's going to be Tuesday's video. So none of that yet. So we still have fourteen oh seven nine, And then I have so far paid these credit cards. So 9733 plus and that's the that's both credit cards added together obviously uh, so 9733 plus 2500 12233 oh. oh so that's that and we subtract 14079 minus 12233 so we got 1846 left and I actually think that that is going to work out pretty well because oops excuse me burp de derped 1846 left still have to pay the student loan and he has to pay these he has to pay these payments this paycheck and I've got to do these um, but I am going to have another check so that I already have, I already have how much the check is going to be. Uh, cause obviously I get paid on Thursdays. Um, so the next check is again, I'm going to split it in half. So that's, uh, 671 and 671. Uh, so I know I'm going to have another 671. Okay. So realistically, I actually have 2,517 left because, well, for the second week, I'm gonna have that extra money. So um, we're obviously, we're okay. Like even if we do go over budget this time, I already took out the 14,000 out of my emergency fund. So some of that could be used for other things. I'd really prefer it all to go to the student loans. Um, but, you know, got to do what we got to do. Uh, so I think this is pretty much in order. You know, this is a real hard video for me to record. Uh, but part of why Wynn is not here, he is not really a fan of me paying off these debts. Um, but the problem is he literally doesn't, he doesn't make enough. And I don't either, to be honest. If I, did, if I hadn't sold my house, this wouldn't be possible. Um, but you know, we got some really good advice from a really nice guy and, uh, we're going to follow it. And that's just going to be that. Um, uh, if you have any questions or if I messed up the math or if you would do this a little differently, let me know y'all. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you. I love you. Never forget you diverse. Oh, you deserve financial stability and I hope you have a great day on purpose. Bye.